My name is Frank Grouch and I'm from West Philly. When people come to see me, expect to hear some aggressive, in-your-face observations and a little bit of anger from things that bothered me during the week. My name is Frank Grouch. <laughs> and this is a hood parable. Uh, if you hear Mr. Softy after 10 p.m., the soft he's serving is not ice cream. That's drugs, folks. That's, he's selling drugs. Uh, kids should be asleep. It's 10 o'clock. There's no reason for ice cream to be that late. Go to Wawa, get you a cone or something. It ain't soft you want. Unless it's your thing, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm Frank Grouch. Uh, military veteran, so I'm like responsible. Knock it off. No reason to cheer for America. They fucked this country up. Look. Um, so, air quotes on the responsible part, because like, I got a lot of family members. I don't have kids of my own, but like I get to take care of all the young kids, like from like five to like 10. All my cousins and nieces, they drop them off on me because again, military vet, so I'm responsible. I'm technically safe by default. Um, I think they think so, but anyway. So they come to the house and they're like, oh, they're so excited in the car. Like they'll call me on like their, their mom's phone or their dad's phone. Like, oh, we're going to see Stunko Crouch today. I'm excited. And I'm just like, Really today, like you couldn't have called me like a week ago and helped set this up better. Usually they do, but I forget because I'll be high, stone uncle grouch, I'm stone, so I'm a stoned uncle. Um, and like it's fine because I mean I don't mind because all I'm gonna do is just get high and watch cartoons anyway if I'm alone. So like now I get to watch cartoons <laughs> with the kids. But like it's different because now I gotta be like mindful of shit. Like where do I put my edibles when they come over? <laughs> now nah, look, y'all know kids are crafty. Like I don't have a step ladder because I can reach my top shelf. But like, they'll go get three phone books, a milk crate, and a chair, and now they're looking at my top shelf like, Stunkle Frank, how come we don't ever get your peach rings? And I'm like, I don't think your mom would be too happy if you came home and your eyes was lower than droopy from the Looney Tunes. Like, I don't think they'd be nice about that. So I'm like, look, you can't have my peach rings. Do y'all know, I look down, I'm like, do you know what infused means? Can you say infused? And they're like, used? No, not used, infused. Not. And they're like, I don't get it. They run around again, they running around. So they come back later, and I got like this cabinet full of, full of edibles. I got THC gummy bears. Kids love them. They can't touch them. They love them. Gummy bears? Oh, no. Gummy worms, peach rings, all over here. They want this cabinet. This cabinet, I got regular snacks. I got Doritos, I got Cheetos, I got Fritos. I got a picture of Judge and Lance Edo for no reason. There's just a lot of shit in this cabinet that the kids can look at and it'll be fine. But like, they just stuck on the gummies because it's candy. Like, oh, we want the candy, Stunker Frank. All right, fine, you know what, I got it. The so last time they came over, they left, they were mad at me. So I was like, I got you, I'll fix their ass. So I went to the store and I'm like, what can I do to get them to leave me alone? I went down to candy aisle. It was, of course, I saw the Sour Patch Kids, the Watermelon Irregular. I saw the Twizzlers. I'm like, nah, this ain't enough, because they're going to be bouncing off the walls. Then I got to deal with all the Tonka truck laying on the floor when I'm trying to go to bed. What do I do? So I'm walking, walking, and I see in the health section, melatonin gummies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I buy a bunch of these gummies, right? So then I rearrange my cabinets. The worst thing I ever had to do is rearrange my cabinets, because I'm hired, I don't know where it is, I don't have to think about it. Move all the gummies behind the chips, right? So now I got, I got Hello Bello, I got Zarbies, I got uh, Sleep Quill for kids, I got like four different gummies with no wrapper on them at eye level for a 10 year old. So they come in there like, Stunkle Frank, you got new gummies? What's this great? I'm like, yeah, get that gummy out, go ahead. Matter of fact, take two, you're a big kid. So I'm like, all right. Look, if y'all don't know, melatonin is basically cooler form for kids. Like, it's the best thing in the world. If you don't, I'm not saying drug your children, but like, if there's a point when you feel like your last nerve's being jumped on with somebody with a pogo stick, <laughs> melatonin gummy could do you a favor. So, I'm like, yo, I grab some gummies out the cabinet. Mind you, all my infused gummies are hidden. They can't find them, so they get one, the old one, she's obviously the, the, the ringleader. She grabs like a hand from me and they'll put those back. It's too many. I don't need you to be asleep for three days. Put those back. <laughs> so they all get a gummy. The little one gets half one because he's not that bad. And he's not 
He, like, he says that he chills with me, he watches me play the game, he just, you know, gives the, the dead controller so he thinks he's playing, but he's not. Um, it's great. Uh, so, you know, they're all like, well, they're still bouncing off the walls because they had like a milkshake or something before they came over. What are we going to do, Stalker Frank? What are we going to do today? I'm like, I don't know. Let's, let's find something on Disney Plus, but make sure you guys get your candy first. And they're like, okay, yeah. So we sit down to watch Moana for the 5,225th, 600th time or whatever. And like just before Maui can start saying, uh, what do you like? What is it? What, what do you know? You're welcome, or what can I say? You're welcome. All three of the kids are just slumped in a pile, like somebody just knocked everybody else with sleeping bags on top of each other. Dead. I'm like, this is great. Stop the movie. I paused the movie because I don't want to. I want to make sure everybody was still asleep. So I paused the movie. And I listened for like 30 seconds. It was quiet. I enjoyed that quiet, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> Then I heard, so I'm like, yeah, they out, out, cool. So I pick one up, grab him by the scruff, you know what I mean? And by the scruff, back of the, back of the shirt, drag him to the bed, lay him down. I get the other one, they're a little bit bigger, so I grab him by the foot, I'm dragging him down the rug. It's not, it's not, it's not that dangerous, it's a soft rug, it's not, not a heavy ply or a pile. And uh, throw them on the bed too. And like, the little one who had half a gummy, he's, he's trying, and he's looking at me, I'm looking at him, he's like, Stunkle Frank, this shit don't. <laughs> I just, I'm loving it. They out cold now. I'm like, yeah, I can finally watch the rest of this Moon Knight series with no interruption. So I drag all three kids to bed, and then their mom comes in. They're like, "What did you do? How are they asleep?" And I'm like, "Well, they tired themselves out." And she was like, "They don't ever do that." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know, but like." That's why they love coming over here because it's so much fun to get to play. Look, the toys are all put away. Mind you, they didn't even get a chance to get to their toys. Toys still in the box. They had the gummies. They was excited. They had the toys out to play. Fell so asleep with the hand toy like this. It was great. So I'm like, look, toys are put away. They clean up after themselves. I'm giving these kids a rave review. Five stars on my Yelp. Will babysit again. And they're just loving this shit. And, uh, and I'm just like, yeah. So my, my, you know, my cousin, she comes in and she's like, you gave them those goddamn gummies, didn't you? It's like, I did not give them my own gummies. I gave them some melatonin. You should probably look into doing the same. My name is Frank Brown. You'll have a good night. Thanks for watching. If you want to get in touch, my info's at the bottom of the screen.